Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem where one enemy remains in our seventh mission. Our mission of course to defeat Heinz here. These black magicians, these shamans that they are, are still attacking us. I don't know why. So with that said we continue to move our forces upwards. And to do that I'm actually going to set straight to wait on our cleric class here. And play ourselves a tune to start ourselves off because our march continues forward and our attacks begin this turn. So with well, that said, what we're going to do is, of course, try to get ourselves a little bit more experience. So, Will, if you could move to the apex of her movements, we can heal you up and get some more experience on our characters. So that'll work quite nicely for me. That experience grindage. Well, that's for sure. I'm trying to play it right by leveling up the characters, so with that said, I really want to get Lindus in to attack more. But for now, we're going to use elemental weaknesses. Who are you supposed to be? Playing the heroes in some foolish knightly romance? You may think you're helping the children, but you're only rushing to your doom. That said, I'm going to hit you with a spell, sir. And you only have a small percentage to hit me back for not even that much damage anyway. So with that said, we get ourselves a little bit of hit, a little bit of damage on, and we move Florina in to take the main brunt of the attack. We're a slim lance, of course, so we don't get double hit. In fact, we don't even have that much of a hit chance back. So with that said, let's try and do a little bit of damage, or none at all, as the case may be. Oh, Florina, you don't want to take any damage. You definitely wanted to get hit because you would have got a level as well. Well, that said, we can move other people into nearby position to start to begin an attack. There can only be one melee attacker here. So that leaves Sane and crew kind of a bit far off the pace. Well, that said, we'll move Sane onto a fort to heal him up using natural progression, as it were, and keep on going. Of course, Kent's already nicely healing, and Heinz is healing as well, being on the spot that he is. So Florina might need our healer soon enough. But at least got to return with an attack this time, and a level up. Maybe gain some resilience, that would be kind of a nice level up for this moment. Well, there we go. We've got some more luck to go with it. Does that mean we'll be critting soon enough? I do not know. But everyone is healing up, so that's looking good to me. Right, so how far can you get, madame? And how far can you get, sir? Well, with that said, we're going to move forward to the apex again and heal. We will gain that extra experience. And then move to here so we can move you up, sir. And play a lovely tune. Now I think Niels will be more useful on other levels where we're pushing as an army rather than separately like we did with Florina and all that and keeping Sarah here back at the start. Get up there Will, you can move around quite a bit after all, as far as you can go at the moment though. So with that said we get back to nuking with spells. and only take a little bit of damage in return. Okay, shall we? Attack with the Slim Lance yet again, which of course won't do enough damage, we take less damage now. Or I'm wondering if we could try to move you in with a Manikati and go to work like that. Well, we still get attacked twice with that. We do have a chance to finish him off. We could go in with a Manikati afterwards, but... Yeah, I wonder. Now let's play safe. Safe is probably the best way to play. We bring her down to an HP value that would not be advantageous for us to be in. So, with that said, Florina, go again with your swim lance. Get another hit, only 2 HP left. And only 3 damage taken this time because of resilience gained. So either the spellcaster or Florina can finish it off. Well, unless I want to go with a different spellcaster, of course. But his hit value is so low, it's ridiculous. We could give it a go. Urk, do you want to try it? It seems like we'd probably take more damage out of the, it than, you know, really do. But we got lucky enough. The battle is over. You were only striking at air. 
You are too late! The girl is already... So it seems Nils' sister is in peril. As Urk levels up once more. Nils! Where's your sister? Ninian! Ninian! She's not here. Why? Where could she be? My Lady Lindis! A villager spotted a group of men riding south. The boy's dear sister. They must have her! Come, we must give chase. But, but, we won't make it. What if they've already... Are you looking for this girl here? Ninian! Ninian! She'll be fine. She's just lost consciousness. Who are you? I'm Elliwood, a Freya. My father is the Marquis. The Marquis's son. She was with a band of ruffians. She seemed upset. She looked in need of rescuing. Was I wrong to involve myself? No, you saved your life. Thank you. My name is Lynn. I'm from Sakaya. I'm Marquis Kalin's granddaughter. Marquis Kalin? And that's my story. It's not an easy tale to believe, I know. No, I do believe you. What? At first glance, all I saw was a daughter of the plains folk. Now I can see it though. You have your grandfather's eyes. Do you know my grandfather? The Marquis, Lord Housen, is my father's good friend. I also know the proud people of Sakaya tell no lies. It's true, isn't it? Yes, thank you. I would not have expected any Lycian noble to be so courteous to a Sakaian nomad. You seem to be in trouble. May I be of assistance? Thank you for your kind offer. This is my problem though, and I'll deal with it. I see. I'll be in the area for a few days longer. If you need anything, please let me know. Lindis. I'm on your side. Elliwood, thank you. Ninian, are you awake? Nils, is it really you? Oh, you're safe. Uh-huh, these people help me. Who are they? Uh... I'm Lynn. I'm glad you're feeling better. Milady Lynn, thank you. I'm called Ninian. My brother Niels and I are travelling performers. Both of you? Your brother's a musician. How about you, Ninian? I... I dance. What? Oh my! You're a dancer. Say, later, please. Um, yeah, of course. A dancer? Your clothes don't look like those of a dancer. Ninian dances to honour life. It's special. Sacred. A sacred dance? What does that mean? I... The dance I perform when we travel is just a normal dance. My other dance, though. When they caught me, I twisted my ankle. I cannot dance to aid you. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry. We're just happy to see that you're out of harm's way. Thank you. But I am concerned about your leg. You can't travel on it. I have an idea. Would it be too much to ask that we travel with you? I can't allow that. It's far too dangerous. We're being hunted. We never know when we're going to be attacked. We wouldn't be a hindrance. We could even help you. Right, Ninian? Yes, we might be able to repay our debt using our special talents. Special abilities? When something poses a threat to us, we can sense its approach. Truly? That's amazing! We can feel it coming. We can't do anything to stop it. You're warriors though, so you don't have that worry. What do you think, Kent? I think leaving them here would cause Lady Lindis more worry than having them travel with us. Same? 
Oh, never mind. I know what your answer is. Do you really want to travel with us? Of course. You have our gratitude, my lady. Oh. What's wrong, Ninian? I've lost my ring. Your ring? Not Ninny's grace. The very one. They stole it? Those curs! Was it valuable? It was a keepsake from our departed mother. It was blessed by the spirit of Ninnis. There's no other like it in the world. And now we have lost it to those villains. There's nothing we can do. You're right. Can I talk to you, Ollers? You heard all of that, right? What do you think? I'd really love to retrieve Ninian's ring for her. But if Nils is right, those thieves might prove to be too strong for us. What should we do? When you fulfill certain conditions, side quests may make themselves apparent to you. Side quests allow you to learn things that aren't part of the main story. You might meet tough new enemies or find new companions to travel with. However, side quests are very difficult. Once you begin one, you must see it through to its end. If you plan to challenge a side quest, let's just keep the save data from the previous mission. Not accepting side quests will not affect your ranking. If, oh, well, we've got rankings as well. If you're in a hurry to pursue the main story, skip the side quests. Embark on the side quest? I think we shall. When we're given options, we will take them. You want to help them? That's great! I was hoping you'd say that, Ollis. Kent! Sane! Those men were headed south. You must give pursuit. On your word, my lady. There's no turning back now. Let's ride. And so we finish mission seven. And begin seven X, it seems. A mysterious group seems hell-bent on capturing Nils and Ninian. Having failed this group, the Black Fang flees. Rumor has them traveling southwest. Lynn and her colleagues follow in hopes of receiving a lost heirloom. The Black Fang have made a stronghold of an abandoned castle in Cathalette. Its dark halls are alive with shadowy figures. As we start Chapter 7X, The Black Shadow. So, the brother escaped, and the sister was rescued by a band of strangers. Do I understand you? Yes, the ambush just ends. Hold your excuses. The end is all that matters. Yes, ma'am. And your plan for recovering the siblings is? We've heard that the entire group is headed this way. With the brats in tow. They're coming here? Why would they do that? They may well be after this ring. It's a rare piece. We took it from the girl. It was a stroke of luck that we did. Especially if it brings them to us now. I'll grab the whole lot of them with this to bait the trap. I see. Very well. I'll give you another chance. I've business elsewhere, but I shall return once it's finished. You have until sunrise tomorrow. Do you understand? Yes. If you do not have the children when I return, my hand will deal you the fang's punishment. Remember that. Bear it closely in your mind. And so it seems a massive enemy force is around here. I believe they went in here. Lady, are you really going in there to get the ring back? Yes, we are. But this is their stronghold. They're bound to be well defended, not to mention well armed. Please, forget about the ring. It's okay. Others has agreed to attempt this recovery. I wouldn't be here if not for that. Hollis believes we can do this. I'm sure that decision was not made lightly. With Ollis on my side, I'm confident we can win. Let's get your ring back, Ninian. Milady. Milady Lindis! 
There are more of the foe inside than we thought. This is their stronghold. It's imperative we move carefully. Exactly, milady. This narrow corridor can be used to our advantage. If we draw the enemy through here, we can engage them. In small numbers, we remain relatively safe. If time is a concern, we can always rush them. If we do that, we better be sure we can win. So Wallace, what do you think? How we move forward is completely up to you. I'd say we draw them out. So, considering we can pick units, and we've got ourselves 10 units to pick, we've got Lucius Nils here. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have more ranged characters. Nils could help us move forward a fair bit. I think Dorcas is a bit of a less useful one here. Raph could probably be extremely useful, but again, is quite high overall on level, so might want to leave him out for now, and take spellcasters like Lucius to follow behind Sane and Kent with like Urk and Lucius following, and Wheel dealing damage from afar as well, Florina coming in with her usual stuff. I'm trying to level her up quite a bit, considering her movement makes her quite a valuable character. Sarah needs to level up. Matthew as well. Can we check out the overall map and see exactly what we need? Well, there's treasure chests for a start, so we're going to need Matthew anyway. We can break through some walls, it looks like, as well. So that's interesting. Right, if we have one horseman in each kind of like furthest forward point, then follow that up with one of the mages. Wheels, you can go more forward than that, because of course Florian can move around, so that makes us a fairly defensive troop there. In fact, Matthew can go a little bit further forward still. I mean, you can do some damage. So, with that said, that's formation sorted. I think we're going to go in with that. Don't you? I think that's a fairly decent team for it. Though, of course, Raph would make it easier. He's a high level. So what we're going in with the Knights to defend. And this is strike forward. Though, as we take these bits here, it seems that we've got spellcasters that want to attack us or probably come near the walls to attack over. Black Fang member here, however, probably going to be my, one of my first targets. So... Let's see how far we can go with these two characters. Alright, we can go to here with you, sir. Do I want to go up that way, though? And try to break through that side? That's a question. Well, there's a horseman over there. Alright, we'll go there with you. And... Where do we want to attack or defend from first? I think we shall start on you. So, with sword being times two damage, but being kind of low on the thing. We're going to go spear on spear here. Sane, take out our first opponent. You're always good at that. See how far this Axeman can travel. And then place everyone dependent on that. Oh, Sane, why did you have to pick it up? Well, we got pure water there. Do you know what? Let's ditch the Iron Sword. That Vulnery is probably going to be your more useful spread onto someone else. Alright, so he can attack quite far, so we're going to need to move these guys up only a little bit. In the meantime, we could start damage over here, so with a bowman... Ah, oh, there we go, that's perfect. We'll have that down. Now, how far can this knight travel in one turn? He's not going to get far enough to get me. And can Florina travel over walls? No, it seems not, so my option there's gone down. But she does, of course, have her javelin. So that is not exactly that bad. Meanwhile, you can attack him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and perform... I can't perform rescue of you. A rescue. What will happen is we take him onto there. Move you back. So now Will is out of attack range. That spellcaster only has no options at this point in time. So what we're going to do is move everyone up just a little bit more. And be nicely poised. In fact, you'll probably want to go here first for your first bit of healing, madame. And then we could... We could indeed go again over here. Kent's turn to roll once more as Niels levels up. 
So we gain ourselves some resilience, some luck, the what not. The resilience makes him kind of a nice defensive character when guys are around. So we could use him to block certain attacks going on. Right, so we're not going to defeat this opponent this turn. But I'm guessing next turn, when he attacks us, which is pretty much fated to happen. Kent will get the experience. So that'll work quite nicely for me. So enemy phase, we know that we're going to be attacked there. That was not a good decision. It's the only way you can really classify that one, isn't it? Alright, so you're moving down. You're moving, of course you'd move into attack range there. That's what I was kind of expecting, and I'm going to be needed to heal that one because everyone is going to come in. Well, that was a nasty spell indeed. So defeating these opponents is pretty much our M.O. at the moment. So what we'll do is end the episode here and plan my next move. Join me next time for more Fire Emblem as we undertake our side quest mission. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.